On this episode, we're taking on the trickiest trouble spot when it comes to getting in shape, that obstinate abdomen. Say goodbye to a mushy midsection. Registered dietitian Janelle Funk is here with her list of flat belly foods. That's next on Insider's Health News. Janelle, I'm so glad that you're here for this one because this is something that really affects everybody. We've all battled the belly bulge at some time. But when it really comes down to it, is it a matter of vanity? It's not just vanity. Belly fat or that bulge around your midsection really can be harmful. People who have that specific belly fat are actually at higher risk for certain diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's. So let's get right down to it. How do we battle the bulge? <laughs> well, good news is it's mostly in our diet and it's choosing the right foods and eliminating some of those that aren't so healthy. So that means decreasing our amount of refined carbohydrates, things like added sugar, white bread, white pasta, really amping up our fruits and vegetables, you know, high fiber foods, lean meats and good sources of protein, as well as heart healthy fats and we'll get into those later. But one thing when you're dealing with the midsection that we always deal with is that bloat. Yes. Now, what are some foods that will cause that for us? A lot of people don't realize that what they're eating can actually be affecting them, can actually be causing belly bloat. These are things like high salt foods, you know, chips, salty snacks, restaurant meals, takeout food is usually high in sodium. That's gonna cause some bloat. Also, things with carbonation. So our diet sodas, or even drinking from a straw or chewing gum, sometimes that carbonation or that air can cause some bloat as well. Also, things with artificial sweeteners for some people can cause belly bloat. And those are things that we really should look out for anyways. Yes. So it's just another reason on top of that. Now, what are perhaps the best things that we should look to to fight this fat? Well, it actually takes fat to beat fat, but it's really the good, healthy fats, those unsaturated fats, things that are found in nuts and seeds, avocados, olive oil. These are the heart-healthy fats that we want more of in our diet. Mm -hmm. So not all fats are created equal. That's one thing to remember. So what about the bad fats? The bad fats are the ones that are saturated fats or trans fats. Now, saturated fats are found in animal products, things like meat, chicken, cheese, full fat yogurt, and dairy. And trans fats are found mostly in processed manufactured foods, which are things we want to keep to a minimum anyway. I know a lot of people really struggle with intense cravings when they're trying to fight this belly fat, especially for carbohydrates. So what are some things that we need to look out for there? Well, carbs aren't all bad, and actually we should be including them in our diet, even if we're trying to beat belly fat. You want to choose complex carbs, things like fruits and vegetables, and also whole grains. So things like whole grain bread, whole grain cereals, whole wheat pasta, bulgur, brown rice, all those good carbohydrates are actually going to help beat belly fat if we're eating them in moderate amounts. Mm -hmm. And they sound delicious. So now I'm inspired. I yes. want to see what you have for us. Today. We've got some delicious food. So many of these are great sources of those heart healthy fats I talked about, the unsaturated fats, whether it's monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. So here we've got olive oil or olives are a great source of unsaturated fat. Salmon up here is a good source of those omega-3 fatty acids, the heart healthy fat. These fats are going to keep us satisfied, so we don't need to eat a large quantity of food because we're so satiated with just a little bit of the healthy fat. Mm -hmm. And these can kind of go together in a sense. You can definitely cook with olive oil or use it raw. It has great benefits that way. Absolutely. Avocado over here, I know everyone loves some guacamole to dip their chips. And you know, people tend to think it's really unhealthy because of its high fat content, but again, it's that satisfying heart healthy fat, so you just need a little bit to be satisfied. Same thing with walnuts over here, they make a great snack. Or you can even blend them, make some walnut butter, or have some peanut butter high in those heart healthy fats that are really gonna satisfy you. And again, just a little bit there, you know, a palmful, and then you're yes, satisfied, exactly. you get that crunch, or you get that sweet. So it's not a high volume of food that's gonna make you feel like you've got a big belly. It's a small a small quantity of food that's really satisfying. Mm -hmm. And keeping you from eating more later. Yes, absolutely. We also have some good whole grain cereal, whole wheat pasta, things like whole wheat bread. Those are those high fiber complex carbohydrates that are also good, they keep us more satisfied. So we're not gonna eat the whole plate of big pasta or the whole loaf of bread. We can have a smaller amount because the fiber is gonna keep us so satisfied. And I love this because it debunks that myth that bread is off limits, right. that pasta is off limits. It's not, you just need to choose the right ones. Exactly, and eat the right amounts to fight that belly fat. Mm -hmm. Now what about this over here? Over here we have flax seeds. So these are high in fiber as well as the good healthy fat. So again, 
that sprinkled on some cereal or in your morning yogurt or oatmeal. You can mix that in to get some more of these healthy fats in your diet. I love it. So you've proven that the belly bulge is not something that we have to live with. This is a fight we can win with just some simple knowledge and some subtle diet adjusting. Who knew that these delicious foods could actually prevent excess fat? For lots of great recipes using these fat blasting foods, check out eatwellwithjanellblog.com. Until next time, keep fighting for that waistline. Thank you.